So it seems to me that whenever a Wii game comes out that's even vaguely good, it's followed by this litany of complaints from gamers saying things like, oh, if only it wasn't on the Wii, or why is this on the Wii, or this would be so much better on the Xbox 360 or the PS3. Why is that? Is it because the game would look better? Last time I checked, graphics were not indicative of gameplay, which is why the PS2 was the weakest system graphically last generation, but had the best library of games. And it's why gorgeous titles like Final Fantasy XIII are actually pretty fucking mediocre when you put your mind to it. In fact, the very reason why games like Final Fantasy XIII aren't very good is the same reason why I think people want stuff on the PS3 and 360 instead of the Wii. The graphics. Quite impossible! I only have an Xbox 360 and PS3, which means all games should come out for it. Besides, better graphics automatically means better games. I also saw some black people on the bus. They were sitting at the front of it. This will not do. Mm, that's such an outrageous wanker. You see, in my mind, graphics are like some of the biggest resource hogs that a game developer can deal with. Final Fantasy XIII, for instance, you know, looks fucking fantastic, but as linear as that game is, and as closed as it is, and when you think about it, it's comparatively shorter than a lot of other Final Fantasy games. When you think about all that, and then remember that Square Enix still had to cut a load of shit? You know, there are entire environments in Final Fantasy XIII that never made it to the final cut, because they just didn't have the time, money, budget, and space for it. Then you contrast it to something like Mr. Walker's Last Story, which is coming out for the Wii, has a big open world, massive cities that you can explore, tons of side quests and, uh, you know, special areas and equipment and uh, hidden bosses and online multiplayer and just all these other features that are just missing from console RPGs on, on the 360 or the uh, PS3. And then just ask me, would you rather have brilliant graphics and cut content, or compromised graphics, but a whole mass of extra stuff to do? This is why I think the Wii is a very valuable console. In an age of high budgets and, and lengthy delays, and developers that just can't afford to make games, or need those games to sell millions of copies, the Wii is a godsend. It takes less time and money to develop stuff. Smaller companies like Mistwalker, I mean, they're no Square Enix. You know, smaller companies like Mistwalker can make games like The Last Story. You know, I don't think if the last story ever came to the PS3 and the 360, I don't think it would even be the same game. Okay, it would look gorgeous, but it'd probably be fucking stripped down. But Haze was on the PS3, and Haze was one of the finest games of this generation. And Super Mario Galaxy 2 was a load of old bollocks, because it was on the Wii. So I think next time you complain that the Wii is, you know, a bad system and act like good games aren't allowed to come out for it, think about the guys making those games. Can they afford to bring out a high-definition game on the PS3 and 360 and actually have it as good a quality in terms of gameplay? Now, I'm not saying that the Wii automatically guarantees good games. I mean, you know, the amount of shovelware and shit that's on it would disprove such a claim straight away. But potentially, it gives smaller developers the potential to make bigger experiences. And I don't think that's a bad thing at all. And that's why when a good game comes out on the Wii, I'm glad it's on the Wii. Because I would rather have a good game than a good looking game. And I hope, you know, I would like to think that you do too. So think about that next time. Otherwise, just shut the fuck up.